not see sparkage. All right, I'm all set up for another round. I think I'm gonna see how much of this wiring I can get put together. Maybe even right. Um, got a new wiring harness. I'm just gonna run that outside the tube there for now. And we're gonna see if we can get spark and how far I can get on this today. If it gets spark, Rodney's getting a call and he's gonna come over and we'll see if we can pop it off. So not sure I'll get there, but I'm gonna take a quick stab at it. And of course it's rainy. Okay, guess what? You get what you pay for. Man, I got this cheap on Amazon and it feels like it's made out of something very cheap. Don't know what. Finally put a goo guard on. I keep getting my arm messed up. Put the generator on. The coil. Just outside of there for now. Got the starter hooked up. And I'm still working on figuring it out. Looks like we got a visit from Tractor Kitty. Here to assist me with wiring. I have a feeling she knows just as much as I do about the wiring. But we're figuring it out, huh, Kitty? All right, I've reached a scary time. I think everything is hooked up right. Minus the solenoid is not in place. I'll just go straight from the generator to the starter. And I believe I sh that should be in the mix there. We're gonna leave that for now. Um, I sort of just, this one from the generator, is that tight? Yeah. That one from the generator goes up to there, on the bottom of the cutout. This one goes over the battery by way of this, which connects up to the battery here. Oops, I'm not there. Yeah, anyway, this goes to the top here. I think I said that already up then. Let's see, negative is hooked up, which is the one that's switched for these. Positive, straight onto the body, energizes the whole thing. I think I'm in a good spot, I think. But I don't know. So I'm going to, this goes to the coil. Um, that's just the switch, which I have on at the moment, theoretically. This is out of gear. Don't really want that coming on me. Um, what else? I think I've checked it all. I just gotta hook up the positive and make sure nothing melts or smokes. So, there goes nothing. Ugh. Theoretically, should we just really quick try pushing the button? <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Now I'm going to check some voltages, and if they're there, and if I have spark, call on Rodney. All right. I'm going to see if we got spark. Not sure what voltage I'm supposed to get there, but it doesn't seem to change. Maybe we got something wrong still, but we'll see if we get at least spark. Maybe it'll be too hot, but here we go. Come on, focus you. There we go. Let's see. That's the first time. I do not 
not see sparkage. Here, hold, let's hold that a little bit closer. Unfortunately, to finish up this video, there was no spark. And I pretty much just ended right there and moved on with life, <laughs> knowing that I would have to eventually rip this radiator off. So this is a little bit of a preview for the next video, but uh, yeah, next video I, I rebuilt that distributor. Um, I didn't actually have a rebuild kit. I just kind of cleaned up what was in there. And then, of course, on all the videos I watch for like Vice Grip Garage and all those, first thing he always does is just like rips the spark plug wires. Doesn't even try it. And of course, Miner Toast. So I got some more of those coming. But anyway, that's all in the next video. We'll finish this one up. Thanks for watching.